I always get asked, how do I start some of these learning concepts with my kids? And so in today's video, I'm gonna answer that question for math. We're gonna be covering a whole bunch of ideas to start with math concepts and learn with your kids as they get older. There are a lot of ideas in this one and examples, plus a giveaway. And this video is sponsored by Lakeshore Learning. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. Let's talk about math concepts. I have a lot of ideas in this video that are gonna help you to introduce math concepts to even your littlest one. I have ideas on how to use those same things to grow with your child as they gain all of that knowledge. Lakeshore Learning is amazing if you didn't already know, but you probably already did if you watch this channel. Lakeshore Learning's products are designed by teachers, which really makes them focused on learning through play. And the quality is just top notch. So let's get into some ideas. I'm also going to tell you all about the giveaway too. And when you're starting with the littlest ones about math concepts, you want to start with something that teaches some really great fundamentals. This one is called Early Math Activity Center, and I'm going to show you how you can use it. Starting at the earliest ages. So this one is called the Early Math Activity Center, and it's for ages two and up. And when we're first starting with math concepts, we're starting with very, very simple concepts. And that's what's great about this kit. So let me open it up and show you what's inside. So you get 36 elephant counters. First of all, they are just absolutely Absolutely cute, right? I mean, the cutest little elephants you've ever seen. They're in beautiful, brilliant colors. So you can also do color sorting if you wanted to extend this. You can also do color recognition and naming the colors and finding the colors, but they're just adorable figures. And like I said, the size is perfect, especially if you're working with toddlers. And of course, preschoolers are gonna love them too. And the second thing I want you to notice is the size. So we have some different sizes. So we have the larger elephant, we have the medium size, and then we have the smaller size. So you have three different sizes and it's that way for each of them. And then you get multiple of each size. And then there's 36 in total. Then we have four activity mats. This one is counting. We have sorting by color, patterning, and sort by size. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear off my elephants here just to kind of show you some ways to play with it. Oh, and of course we have the activity guide too, which always has great ideas for using the Lakeshore materials. So always read those because you'll be inspired. So here is the sorting by size size mat. We have pictures that help us. So we have small, medium, and large, and we have a size sorting. So then what your child can do is take the elephants and match them in the correct spots. Put them all in there at once. You can give them one separate color. You can get more complicated by asking them to put only large yellow elephants in that one and only red medium ones in this one and green small ones in this one, just to kind of mix it up and make it more difficult as your child learns and grows. And if your child knows how to count, you can even say, can you put two large elephants in the large size circle? Can you put three medium elephants in the medium circle and you can up the difficulty level that way. That's one of the things that I do love about Lakeshore is you can adapt it to different levels. It really extends the play farther as your child learns and knows more. Let's check out another map. This one is sorting by color. So the simplest way to do this is just to have them match up an elephant to each color. You can make it a little bit more difficult by requesting something such as, can you add a blue elephant? You can even try having them remove. Can you take off all the blue elephants? Can you put a small elephant on green? What's really cool is the size of these mats too. They give you a lot of room to work with. And if you have multiple children or you're a teacher, that's also a great thing that you can use so all the kids can see really well. This one is for patterns. So we have some already pre-made up here with a red, yellow, red, yellow. So we know what we can put on the next one coming up. Then we have one down here, but down here you can make your own, which is a lot of fun. So you can decide which ones you're gonna have your child do, or they can decide what pattern they would like to make on their own. It can be a pattern of just the same color, or you can even get more complicated and do a pattern of sizes if you wanted to. Once again, extending that play to be even more challenging. I think the pattern one is my favorite. And this one is simple counting for like one-to-one. -one. So one, two, three, 
for and so on and so forth. Another way to use this is for number recognition. So you can say, can you put an elephant on number 11? And they'd have to find the 11. Can you put it on number six? And then you can make it more difficult by requesting a certain size elephant or a certain color elephant. So this set will take you pretty far when it comes to expanding on the skills and starting very young and working your way up all the way through that preschool age. And you're learning some really basic math principles. You've got counting, you've got patterns, you've got color recognition, and you've got size. And on this one, we have the lighter green leaves representing odd numbers, and we have the darker ones representing even numbers. So you can even begin to introduce those concepts talking about odd and even. So you can definitely see how starting with those basic concepts are gonna help in learning more complex concepts. Next up, I have for you this tactile numbers one through 30. And this one is probably one of the purple alphabet favorites. Next up, we have tactile numbers. It's numbers one to 30, and it's for ages three and up. So we are working on pre-writing skills, but you can also use these for number recognition, placing numbers in the correct order, and so much more. So let me show you what they are. They're these cards, and there's this little rough edge to them. And this is where there's a texture to it that feels like sandpaper. And then we have one card for each number. I'm just going to put out five here. So these cards were meant to have a tactile purpose to them. So you'd start with your finger and do finger tracing down to say one, around to do two. And what you're learning here is number formation for pre-writing. So it's a little bit of a pre-writing skill. But at the same time, you can use these in activities of calling out numbers. Can you trace the number three and work on the three? Can you find the number five and work on the five? You can also do number order by mixing them up and having them arrange them in the correct order. You can use them as flashcards to hold up. What number is this? One. And then you can use them later on in math games. Maybe you're adding two numbers together. You could use these also for labeling. I've showed you guys a couple of activities and how you can use math flashcards in order to learn about numbers and the quantities. So finding a manipulative and placing one of them next to the one card and two of them next to the two card. What is great about these is that it does go up to 30. So you have a wide range of numbers that you can work with and you can add on as your child learns more. So if you're learning the numbers, start off with smaller amounts, maybe one to three, then one to five, go up to 10, all the way up to the 30 and you will have a varying degree of difficulty. And then of course, as you're doing the number tracing with your finger. You're also doing some pre-writing skills, a little bit of sensory work, and then you'll be able to cruise right into writing, especially the numbers, a little bit easier. A very hands-on approach to learning numbers and a little bit of pre-writing. So we have size awareness and comparing. We have patterning. We have simple number recognition. We also have numerical order. So what's next? Well, we got to learn about some simple addition, and that's where this one comes into play. It's called It's a Snap Math Center. focusing on simple addition. So we're for ages four and up and we're adding to 10 with all the manipulatives in this one. So here's our little instruction pamphlet. These are equation boards that you get on this side and there are 20 of them. Each one has a different math problem on it. It's all simple addition. And on this side over here, these are your counters. So you have 30 blue counters and then you have 30 purple counters. And if you notice that their colors are blue and purple and over here on your equation equation board, the colors are also in those same blue and purple colors. So as you can see, what you're going to do is use these counters and they have this little hook here on the bottom and you could hook them on to your equation board. So we need three of the blue ones, one, two, three for this side, and then three of the purple ones for the other side. And now we can count and say three plus three is one, two, three, four, five, six, six. So what we're doing here is learning how the two add-ins will make the total our sum. And it's a hands-on way because you get to manipulate these little pegs and snap them on here to find the answer. So we're making some really fun models. These are also dry erase friendly. So if you wanted to, you could write on here your answer with a dry erase marker, or you can even flip over to the back of these equation boards and you have a blank canvas and you can make your own math problems and your own models that way. An extension of this is 
finding two equations that have the same sum. So if I were to find another board that has the same sum, let's see what we can find here. Here's one that has the same sum as our problem over here. And we can take note that this different equation has different add-ins, but when you add them together, it has the same sum as three plus three. So as you can see, you're extending on all of the other activities you learned to get to the point where you can actually add two together by using those other games that I showed you before this one. And I do have a giveaway for you guys, a $50 Lakeshore learning gift card. So you can pick what you would like for your child in your home to do some of these learning activities with. So make sure you are subscribed to the Purple Alphabet YouTube channel. Then leave me a comment down below telling me which one of these was your favorite. Then head over to the giveaway link which is in the description box to officially enter to win. If you guys would like to see some other videos featuring some amazing Lakeshore learning products, I have a video right here I'm gonna put up on screen so you can go back and check it out. You guys click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.